Hey guys, this is my 1.8.1 uh, a Lone Star build. I never uh, really used Lone Star until uh, now. I, you know, never considered it. Most have been using Striker, or Nomad, or Predator. Mostly Banshee out of all three of those sets um, that I've been using total. But I decided to make a Lone Star build. I'm gonna go over it with you guys. As you can see, it's 7,000 firearms and 5,000 stamina. You could get the stamina up a little bit higher if you're gonna be a little bit extra tanky. But this is more of a team slash group build. I would not recommend running this solo because it's most likely going to get you killed. So you want to run someone who's using Reclaimer or like a Final Measure Healer. Um, I run with this in the DZ a few times by myself and I've gotten killed a bunch. So I'd recommend definitely running this for the group. But to go over the weapons first, I'm using an MG5 that has Deadly, Vicious, and Competent. You want to get something that's like accurate or meticulous or even responsive, I guess, if you could get it. But I think accurate is probably going to be your best bet because you'd be able to hit your targets more with the MG5. Uh, Deadly and Vicious are a priority to get on these guns. Um, the secondary I'm using is the Big High Andro, which has Deadly and Accurate as well. Both these weapons are modded pretty decently, I'd say, or they're modded um, just about the same. C79 scope for hit chance damage, headshot damage, heavy mag spring, which a lot of people use the extended, which has 109 rounds, but the proc Lone Star, it's half your magazine, and that's just going to take a little bit longer, so I recommend using the heavy mag spring for the extra crit chance of damage, and the 10% rate of fire. As you can see, if you look at the RPM, it goes up a decent amount to 881, almost 900 RPM, and that's about as fast as the MP7 um, without any attachments on it. The next is a small grip with great hit damage, stability, and optimal range. So at large FDE suppressor has great hit damage, great hit chance of headshot damage. You could have accuracy on the suppressor as well, but that's just a preference. Um, I personally would rather have headshot damage. The Big High Andro has only three attachments because it doesn't have another attachment point for a grip, but has a loud vent break instead of a suppressor, great hit damage, headshot damage, and great hit chance. C79, create chance, headshot damage, and optimal range. The extended mag is a 3%, 118 magazine size, and 5% rate of fire. Um, you could throw on the heavy mag spring if you wanted, but I decided not to. But that's just a preference. Then we we'll go over the gear, 1912 armor. This gear says not optimized at all, just so you guys know. Uh, skill haste, health, ammo capacity. 1380 firearms. The mods on these are stamina health mods. The mask is rolled for stamina, for crit hit chance. I know it's not max yet, I'm still rolling the pieces. 974 armor, and it's rolled for a stamina health mod. The knee pads are rolled for health, firearms, 1614 armor. You could roll these for crit hit damage, you wouldn't have a lot higher damage output, I guess you could say, but you're already pretty. You're hard, bleh, sorry. You're hitting pretty decently um, with this build as is, with a group especially. But I guess you could roll it if you want to. Stamina mod roll for health and a 6% first aid self heal. The backpack is rolled for crit hit damage. You could roll this for health, which I might end up doing later on. At the moment, I'm still kind of messing around with this build. 7% uh, crit hit damage and 16% burn resistance. I'd rather have bleed, but whatever. You know, you get what you get. 1348 firearms. This is not rolled, you know, at all. I rolled it once just to get firearms on there, and I rolled it since. The mod on this is a stamina health mod and two first aid self heal mods. The gloves, which were a pain in the ass to find, um, these are the only ones I could find. I know the firearms is 1293, which I need to optimize these and make them better. But they're rolled for LMG, crit damage, and crit chance. That's really important, and rolled for firearms. The other ones I had had enemy armor damage, and you can only roll um, crit chance and crit damage on them. I couldn't get the other ones because it did not have the correct rolls because it was rolled for electronics. So I just didn't use it at all. I just and went in the DZ and looked for the landmarks and finally got these gloves. The holsters roll for 3.50% crit hit chance. These are really low stats. Like I said, it's the only holster that I could find that was not shitty armor. So this is the one I'm using at the moment. The mod on this is a first aid self heal. Now I'll go over the MG5 on the character sheet. You're hitting at 30% crit chance at 117 damage, which if you take away that 7%, you know, you'll have a little bit you'll still have 100 crit damage um, but I like to have that little extra crit damage since I'm running with a team usually I have a healer then there's no problem uh, staying alive headshot damage is 97% stability is 2% yes you know, nothing crazy range is 103 feet and the reload time is 5.50 seconds um, you could you know 
reload like a normal person, but Lone Star is good because you can just switch weapons and you get the uh, ammo immediately right after. That's why I'd recommend running two MG5s instead of the big Highlander. That way you get two of the exact identical guns and just switch and it doesn't make a big difference. Now I'll go over the survivability. Your toughness is 469,000. Health is 317. That's a little low compared to the other builds I make, but like I said, this is made more for a team. Armor, 7,757. And that's really about it. Uh, the abilities I'll go over, which I'm using a pulse. At the moment, that's because I was running by myself, which is really stupid. Um, but now I decide that immune station and booster are probably what's best to run with this build. So it should look like that. The talents I'm running on this since I'm in a team is Combat Medic, Strike Back, Critical Save, and since I have the free one um, on the move is what I've been using. But if I wasn't going to use this in a team, I'd switch that out for Triage, or you could use something like Battle Buddy, um, but that's all up to you. That's really about it for the video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one.